Hi, this is David with entry 751 here in Ayan. Once again, walking back from getting Bingsu. I found this. So, like, let me roll back. I spent a lot of time waiting around Jongnogu for Jongnogu for my friend, which is a historical district in the center of Seoul. My friend never showed, so I just kind of milled around and went into this building that... Oh, here's a little, here's a little dog. Loose. Um, I went into this building called the Murray Asset Building. I think it's a Japanese company that owns the building. It's a very fancy, nice building. And uh, they happen to have a very good public toilet, so uh, I know the building well. <laughs> And um, I went in there and I noticed that there was this grand opening of a new food court. And uh, it was already pretty late, I think it was like 4.30. So it was like nothing, nothing was, no one was going in there. And it was basically just abandoned, essentially. It was all brand new. And all the poor cooks were just standing around, like looking longingly at the people who were eating and like milling around. And, uh, but what I noticed was that the food, though, all looked super top-notch. Like, it's basically like a food court, like in a mall. Um, and they just brought in some, like, really nice particular vendors. A couple of them original. Most of them are not. But, uh, oh, <laughs> that was, that was a close one right there. <laughs> There's a guy tailgating, another guy, and they came to a red light, and another guy almost smashed into him. Uh, so in this food court, I got excited because I found, uh, whenever I find a new Bingsu franchise or company, I get excited. And this particular one was the kind of Taiwanese-style um, Bingsu, where instead of just grating the ice very finely, Normally, like a really nice bing Korean bingsu is just really finely grated ice, so it's really smooth and, and like luxurious. But this one, this particular one, is uh, is this Taiwanese style, which means they shave it in like sheets, in like long sheets that kind of fold in, accordion and fold in on themselves. And I'll be damned if it ain't if it ain't delicious. <laughs> they have um, about. I think maybe 10 different styles of the style of Bingsu. They all use different milks, like ice bases, and they have different toppings. And yesterday I got the sweet peanut, which was actually really good and cheap. And then today I got the, uh, I got the, oh shoot, I got the, um, mocha arabica, which is like a coffee version. It was less good, but it's still very good. What was interesting though was that today I read, I read the uh, cup that comes in. It's a very like, single serving size, so it's not very expensive. So it's very good for me, and it's like the perfect amount. You don't feel full or bloated or anything. You don't get super cold from eating all of it. Well, generally I could eat like a giant one by myself, so I usually feel cold afterwards. But uh, um, this one was just huge, or the perfect size, sorry, and. Um, yeah, it was really good, and today's version had this thing in it that I was like, what, what is this? Why do they have this? Because I've only ever seen it in Singapore, and it's like these like coconut um, jelly things. And in Singapore, they call it nata de coco, but uh, here, I've never seen it in anything, really, except for maybe the coconut drink that's like from Singapore. And uh, I was eating it, and I looked at the cup, and it said, it's from Singapore. So, I don't know if that was just marketing for the company, but uh, I was very interested that uh, it could be, I could find this company in Singapore and uh, eat it all the time. Here, it's uh, like five to six fifty, five thousand to six thousand five hundred uh, Korean won. For a single serving cup, and only like two or three more for the double, which is like huge. Double is a proper, proper double. But uh, yeah, it's really good. But the problem is, is that uh, to get over there, 
takes about 20 minutes on the subway or about 45 minutes to an hour walk. So, one way. So, it's actually quite a good thing to think that it's so far away because basically by walking there and walking back, I burn the whole thing off. So I'm at a caloric balance. Um, but yep, everything else is good. It's nice and uh, mild today at 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the nights are nice and balmy and uh, really kind of in the kind of crunch mode for for uh, getting down there. I mean, we got one week now. Uh, in, 20, in, in exactly one week to the time right now, I'll be on the plane taken off like exactly right now so that's pretty that's pretty cool i'm so ready i'm, I'm you know i'll be saying it from now on but like mentally i'm checked out physically i'm still here obviously but mentally i'm in there i'm in there i'm in singapore so anyway thanks for watching and oh so third thing i almost forgot the third thing on this I already said, I already said being silly for the third thing I miss about Korea is the fact that there are some things that are still pretty, pretty darn cheap. Uh, not a lot of things, but there are some things that just you can't get the same, for the same price in the U.S. And a lot of those are like, have to do with specifically Korean things, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, that's one of the things very, some very expensive items. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.